Hi everyone, I'm Natalie and this is Wiley Westy. Say hello Wiley. Oh, thanks. We've travelled before with Wiley on an aeroplane, but he's always had to go on the hold. You can see his other videos on his YouTube channel, where he's travelled from Singapore to Koh Samui in Thailand, as well as from Koh Samui to Bangkok. However, we've never travelled with him in cabin. At the moment, as you can see, we're in beautiful, sunny Thailand. The place we stay is a place called Hua Hin, which is located about a three hour drive from Bangkok. Bangkok is the biggest international airport in Thailand and is where we would likely be flying from if we did decide to travel internationally with Wiley. So which airlines would allow us to travel with Wiley and Cabin from Bangkok to Europe? After doing some research, we found out there would be three airlines which would allow us to bring this fairy fellow with us in cabin. Those airlines are Lufthansa, Swiss Airlines and KLM. Lufthansa and Swiss Airlines are owned by the same company. So in terms of requirements and restrictions, they're pretty much the same. The only difference being that with Lufthansa, you would generally have to transit in Frankfurt and with Swiss, you would travel through Zurich or Geneva. KLM is based out of the Netherlands with the main hub airport being in Amsterdam. So any flights with KLM, you'd need to transit through Amsterdam airport. So in terms of the requirements and restrictions for each airline, how do they differ? As I mentioned, Lufthansa and Swiss have the same requirements. The first requirement is with weight. The maximum weight for a dog to fly with you in cabin is eight kilos. This must include the travel bag that the dog would fly in. Now, about six months ago, Wiley weighed 8.5 kilos. So we never thought we would be able to take him in cabin. However, when we weighed him yesterday, he's down to 7.9 kilos. So we're getting there. It's taken a lot of effort, but now we've got this big garden behind us. He loves to run around. The bag that we have for Wiley is a sturdy bag and that weighs about one kilo itself. So we've still got quite a way to go. On top of the weight restrictions, there's also size restrictions on the bag size that you can have. Lufthansa and Swiss are again the same and the measurements, the maximum measurements you can have for the bag is 55 by 40 by 23 centimetres, which actually is pretty generous and is the same size as your normal hand luggage carry on. Other restrictions that the airlines impose is that the dog must stay in the bag the whole time throughout the flight. The, the price of flying in cabin with Swiss and Lufthansa varies depending on your destination and where you're traveling from. If you're traveling within country, the price is 50 euros. Traveling within Europe is 60 euros. And internationally, the price is 110 euros per pet, unless you're traveling from Japan when it's only 70 euros. So actually, it's pretty cheap as well. In order to book a pet to fly with you in cabin, you'll need to speak to the reservations team. They only allow a certain number of pets in each, in each cabin class. So it's worth to check with them before booking your flights to make sure that they have availability. KLM is the other option that you can use to fly internationally with your pet in cabin. I've never really had a good experience with KLM, but as there another option, I wanted to explore what what their restrictions and their requirements were to see if they would be better. Because at the end of the day, it's what's best for Wiley as to who we would choose to fly with. So KLM, what are your restrictions and requirements in order to fly with Wiley in the cabin? KLM have the same weight restriction as Lufthansa and Swiss. So the bag and the dog must weigh no more than eight kilos. So again, Wiley mate, you're going on a diet. 
So KLM are a lot more strict in terms of the size of bag that you can have for your dog. Where Lufthansa and Swiss were 55 by 40 by 23, KLM is 46 by 28 by 24. So it's quite a big difference. And I don't really think that Wiley would be able to fit within a bag of that size comfortably. It's very important that the dog still has space to move around and the requirements are that they should be able to stand up, sit down, lie down and most importantly turn around comfortably. And with the restrictions from KLM, I don't think that will be possible with Wiley. Another restriction that KLM has is that if you're flying internationally, you can only fly in the economy cabin. This poses a problem for us as generally we will only fly premium cabins when flying internationally long distance. So for us, I don't really think KLM would be an option. It's also difficult to find out the exact price and requirements without actually making a flight booking to see how much it would cost to travel in cabin. The website of KLM states that the prices vary depending on your destination and your origin and the prices range from 75 euros to 400 euros. So based on the fact that we think Wiley would be too small to fit in the bag requirements for KLM, the fact that we couldn't fly business class with him means that KLM would be out of the question. Therefore, the two airlines we would consider would be Swiss or Lufthansa. For us, there doesn't seem to be much difference between Lufthansa and Swiss. So I think it would all come down to when we were traveling, what flight was available as to which one we would choose with Wiley. If you've flown with your dog in cabin on either Swiss or Lufthansa, please let us know in the comments your experience. It would be great to hear from you. We really can't wait to start traveling again and knowing that there's airlines that allow us to take Wiley with us in a cabin is so amazing. We really can't wait to try it. I hope that soon we'll be able to share some videos of Wiley in the cabin with us traveling around the world.